Hello, good evening, good evening, good evening. Good evening, everyone. So anyway, we're going to do an ab session tonight. That's what you've been waiting for. Let's do this. So we're going to stand up as per usual. Stand up nice and tall. Lift up out of your hips. Working on the tummies. Now, last week, I think, what did we do? Last week we did legs, a bit of leg work. Um, we've done backs not long ago. Today we're going to be doing the abs because when you are out and about, when you are standing there right now, you are using your back muscles to keep you upright. They stop you from collapsing over, okay? Otherwise your spine would just go boom. Okay, so they stop that, those muscles. So you need them to hold you up. But at the same time, the other muscles that are helping to keep you upright are your tummy muscles. So deep, deep in there, behind COVID, there will be some muscles back there. And they're the ones that we're going to work on. And hopefully the little ones on the outside too, to just tone them up a little bit. So that's why it is so important to have strong uh, core muscles and to work through the tummy as well as your back. Okay, because they're both going to keep you upright here. All right, let's take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Nice long arms breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. And once more, breathing in through the nose. Remember, we don't want to lock up the arms or the shoulders. Just keep it long but relaxed. And up. And deep breath out. Good. Drop your chin to your chest now. And as you breathe out, you're going to roll down towards the floor. Just let those arms hang down underneath you. Take a breath in. And as you breathe out, you're going to slowly unroll, coming back up to the top, feeling that spine lengthen. This is, see, now you can see where you use your back muscles to hold you upright. So off we go again, down we go. So the tummy muscles and the back muscles are working here to keep everything in alignment. And then as we roll up, again, keeping everything in alignment, like your spine, but also to then help you lift back into that upright position. Take your right arm up and we're going to squeeze that waistline now because the tummy muscles extend over into the side, into your waistline. And again, that's to hold you upright. So as we come back up, we use those tummy muscles to lift us. We use them to control this movement and then to help lift us back up again. Shoulders down, arms are out to the side. We're going to do a little twist to the right and slowly round to the left. Again, this is another movement. Well, you know what, every single movement you do, you use your back and your tummy and they need to be working together so that we can twist like this from one side to the other. And around again. And back to the front and take those arms down. Okay, we're going to do a few little rises, starting with just rolling through the feet. So you want to keep lifting. So not just the upper back and the, or not just the back and the abs holding you supported here now, but you've also got to make sure that pelvic floor is lifting upwards like a hammock. And that's going to keep, help keep the pelvis stable for this movement. And also for this one, it helps you with your balance. Yes, your feet and knees will play into that, but right now we're trying to really focus on strengthening what we can, because we are strengthening the ankles and the knees a little as well while we do this. But that balance and that control comes from the center. Last one. Good, and lower down. Let's do one more roll down, deep breath out as you come down. Hanging upside down, breathe in and slowly breathe out and roll back to the top. Good work. Okay, let's grab our weights. <clears throat> we'll do a few squats and that. And what you got to remember is when you're doing a squat, it's just like when you go to sit down on a chair. Okay, so this movement here, this leaning forward, Come with me, let's do our squats. As we bend to sit down, we are hinging forward. 
that movement uses your back muscles. Just like when we roll, did our roll down before, the tummy needs to be working as well. Otherwise, the back gets very sore and collapses a little. It doesn't have the strength to hold you, especially when I say hold. Okay, so right now those tummy muscles have to be working really well. So belly button is gently drawing back. It's supporting your back muscles. Let's pull those elbows back. Two more. Last one. Good, and standing tall. Let's do that again. And slowly up. Now a lot of the time when I see people doing the squats, if they're not keeping their back upright, then they're lifting their bum. And they feel like they're going super deep if they can face the floor. That's not a squat, that's called a deadlift. <laughs> a deadlift is something you do when you go to pick something up off the floor. For example, a weight when you picked up your weights, or a pen if you drop your pen, or shoes when you pick up your shoes to put them on. Let's hold again. So we're holding in a squat position, not a deadlift, a squat. You do need to be hinged slightly. Let's pull back. Five more. Last one. And standing tall. Good, give your legs a shake. We're going to turn the feet out, take them out a little wider. Now, if you do find your knees get really sore when you're doing this, bring your feet in just a little bit, okay? So they're still turned out, but not as far. Try and keep your back upright, hands in, elbows out, and we come down. Good. So again, like I said earlier, you use your back and your tummy to keep you upright. So if you do find that you're starting to hinge just a little bit to do this, firstly, you're gonna feel a lot of that through your shoulders, but you're gonna find that your tummy muscles probably aren't really working very strong to keep you upright. They've gotta work against the back. Let's hold. Okay, so the tummy muscles are working, they're pushing back, the back muscles are pushing in, so they work against each other, a force there to keep you upright. Squeeze that waistline again, and squeeze on the other side. Back to using those side abs. Okay, going. Last one. Good, and stand tall. Okay, we're gonna do that again. Are you ready? Tailbone under, belly button back, and down. Make sure you're breathing. Don't leave the breathing all to me. Two more. Ready to hold? If you lower your elbows, it's gonna be a little easier on the shoulders. Squeeze, pull up, squeeze, pull up. Keep that weight centered. And again, let's do one more to each side. Over and over. Good, elbows in, arms down as you stand. Good, give it a good shake. Okay, let's pop these weights down. Give your arms a really good shake. Take a deep breath in, bring those arms up without arching your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades and stretch the arms right back. And again, breathing in and out. And in and out. Good, and shake it all about. All right, if you want a drink before we head on down to the floor, grab yourself a drink of water. It's not beer time yet. (laughs) 
Okay, come and stand at the end of your mat. Better get my clock out. Standing up nice and tall, lifting right up out of your hips. All right. Deep breath out, chin to the chest. One long breath all the way down. Arms are just hanging. You can even feel a gentle stretch in the upper body. Breathe in, bend the knees so you can reach the floor. Bend right down and slowly walk yourself forward. Keeping your hips lifted nice and high and find your plank. So I straight away take my hands out to about the width of my mat. Bring my shoulders over my wrist line and as I lower my hips, I tuck the bum under and the belly button back. Again, your back and your tummy work together to support you here, okay, to keep you strong. If it's too much up here, you can drop those knees down to the floor and hold it on your knees. Still breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. And if, you, if it hurts the wrists too much, just come down onto the elbows, place the elbows underneath the shoulder line instead. Hardest plank you can do, remember, is to tuck those toes while you're down on your elbows and push back through the hips, uh, through the heels. When you do that, you don't want to lift the hips. <laughs> you need to keep those hips down. Your back should be nice and flat just like a table, whichever position you are in. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth still. If you are starting to feel it in your back, what you're gonna find is the core and the tummy have stopped helping. And your back is now working all by itself and it's getting tired. <laughs> now, if you connect and you feel that your back is still really, really sore, it could be just time to stop and have a rest, okay? Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Yes, the upper body is working as well. We've got 45 seconds left. Upper body is working, so you should be able to feel the shoulders and arms work. They do have to hold part of your weight. 30 seconds remaining. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Remember, if you've stopped, just stretch it out. 15 seconds left. Feel the tummy muscles getting tighter and tighter as you hold it. If you're getting to this point and you still can't feel the tummy muscles working, I think it's time to make your plank harder. Let's stretch it out though. You'll have to do that next time. Stretch out those arms really long, shoulders back. Good, okay, now, because we're working on tummies today, before we go any further, I am still going to work on your back, just to make sure that's all activated properly, and then we can go on to our tummies. So come on down onto your tummy to start with. We're gonna place the hands underneath the forehead, tuck the chin towards the chest, relax your upper body. Take a deep breath in through the nose. When you breathe out, you're gonna lift your chest and both your legs. And then you're going to breathe in and gently lower back down to the floor. Now, if you need to make this a little easier on your neck or your shoulders, leave your arms on the floor. If you need to make it easier on your lower back, do one leg at a time. It is really important that you listen to your body. And if it is telling you that there is pain, don't just keep pushing through it because it won't improve. If it's aching muscles that are getting tight, and tired, that's a different story. Then you're gonna work them harder. But if it is pain, sharp pain, burning pain, tingling, numbness, that sort of thing, then you know that you need to stop and have a rest. <sighs> Let's do one more. If you are doing one leg at a time, of course, make sure you're even on both sides. Good, okay, so you can leave your hands under your forehead if you like, especially if you were leaving your arms on the floor, you might as well leave your hands exactly where they are. If you wanna go harder than what we've just done, I want you to lengthen your arms out above your head, make sure they're about the width of your mat, tuck the chin to the chest, and we're gonna do the same movement, deep breath out, and in as you lower down. So the upper body is gonna have a bit more weight in it now, 
So the shoulders, the upper back and even the neck will be working a little harder. And last one. Good. Slip your elbows underneath your shoulders, lift the chest and look forward. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And if you can, I want you to push your hands down into the floor as you slowly start to straighten the elbows. Now, before we go any further, just make sure that you haven't started to lift your shoulders to your ears. Your shoulders need to be down. All right, belly button is drawing back still. And then gently lower your elbows to the floor. Lower your whole chest down towards the floor. Slip those hands back under the shoulders. Push yourself all the way up and stretch right out. Okay, give your wrists a little shake. We're going to come onto all fours. Tony, back onto your tummy. All right, so Tony, you're not going to be able to do this one down on the floor. So Tony, lying on your tummy, you're going to uh, lift the leg off the floor and take it in, out and in, okay? And you'll do five of those and then lower the leg and then do the other leg. So that's for Tony who's lying on his tummy, okay? Shoulders back, belly button back, everyone else, you are squared up with the floor. We are going to lengthen that leg and then we're going to draw it round so that knee is coming towards your elbow, okay? So when you do that, you are squeezing in that waistline there. Okay, and then we lengthen the leg back out. Hips need to face the floor. So it's in, hips back to the floor. Don't leave your hips open like this. You've got to feel the difference. Hips down, turn. Hips down, I'm counting now. And two, and three. Lengthen that leg right out, four. Let's do one more. Slide it in and change sides. Bring the knee around and then square yourself up. And again. So of course, when you're down on your tummy there, Tony, you need to make sure those hips are anchored into the floor so that you're not twisting at all through those hips. Let's bring that leg in. We're going back to the first leg. Lengthen it out. And one, stretch. And two, and three, and four, and five, and down, change sides, and one, squeeze that waist, and three, four, and five. Good, bring it down, okay. Shake out those wrists, loosen up. Make sure you've done that evenly on both sides. Tony, stay where you are though, because we are going to come back onto all fours just once more. Okay, so down onto all fours. I'm going to come onto fists now, but if you want to stay on your flat hands, you can do. Belly button is drawing back towards the spine. Okay, we're going to take that right leg out nice and long. And yes, I'm still working through my back here. I'm activating my butt as well because that's gonna help with the lower back muscles. And we're going to tap the foot to the floor and push it upwards. Now, when you push it up, I don't want you to sink through the hips. Two more. You can do exactly the same movement lying on the floor there, Tony. Five, four, but keep those hips on the floor. Two, one, and again, first leg and one, two, three. Keep that upper body nice and strong. And last ones, one, two, three, four, and five and bring it in. Good job. All right, shake it out. Okay, so Tony, I know that you do push-ups up on your hands and feet, so I'm going to get you to do your push-ups there. 
we're going to do something a bit different. So if you want to try and mix this into your push-ups, you can, Tony. Otherwise, just do some normal ones. So for the rest of you, okay, you have a couple of options, all right? This is the easiest option. No, 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 no. You're going to go from here. This is going to be the easiest option, okay? You leave the hips lifted, the belly button back, and we lower down to the floor all the way. We lower ourselves down, stretch the arms out, swing them round to the hips. My head is off the floor, but my chin is tucked. Bring the arms back up, bring them back under the shoulders and push up, okay? Make sure when you push up, you lift high enough so that you're using the tummy, not just your back. So you shouldn't feel anything in your back, okay? We're going to do five of these and then we'll, if you're feeling okay, we'll do five more. All right, so if you wanna do this, Craig and anyone else that wants to, if you wanna do them from full, full plank position, you can, okay, it's up to you. All right, lower yourself down, all the way down, lengthen out your arms. Other option, leave your head on the floor as you swing those arms back to your hips. That's gonna take the weight out of your shoulders and neck. Okay, so Julianne and anyone else that needs to take the pressure out of the upper body, leave your head on the floor. We're coming down again. <sighs> Lengthen those arms above the head. Make sure you've tucked your chin to your chest. Swing your arms to your hips. Back up again. Slip the hands under the shoulders and push up. Make sure you've lifted those hips high enough. We're gonna do three more. Down. Lengthen out, swing around. Remember, head's on the floor if you need to. Make it a little easier on your back, your shoulders and your neck. Lift those hips if you need to. No pressure in the back at any point during any of this movement, this exercise, okay? If your back is getting sore, you're not lifting high enough or you're not coming down quick enough because you might be dropping your hips as you get tired. Let's do one more. And again, arms up, swing them round. Now you can feel that upper body working here. Make sure you can feel the tummy pull back as you do your push up part. And if you wanna do five more, let's go. If you wanna have a rest, then do that too, okay? Instead. <laughs> it's up to you. Four more. Three more. Keep those shoulders back. Belly button back, shoulders back, chin tucked. Breathe. Good news, last one. Bring it in, push up, stretch back. Good work. Make sure you get those stretch, shoulders stretching as well while you're here. Good. Okay, release. So this is your camera, by the way, Mike. If you need a drink, grab yourself a quick drink of water again. Um, yeah, so while we're waiting for them, Mike, this is your camera. This is camera three. So that you know, I'm now going over to crappy old camera four. Ooh, look at that difference. I'm now in a green room. <laughs> okay, when you've had your drink, come and sit at the end of your mat. Make sure your feet are at the end of your mat, knees pointed to the ceiling, and if anyone needs some, a cushion under their bum to support their back, make sure it is there. Lift up nice and tall. Let's lengthen the arms, but with a pistol grip. So don't stretch them out too much because I don't want your shoulders to roll forward. Let's tuck, let's lean back and hold. Using your tummy muscles, you can feel them tightening at the top and the bottom. And sit up tall. And again, tuck, arms come back with you. Now point to the ceiling, point forward, point to the ceiling, point forward. If you need to make it a little bit easier on your back or your hips, 
Don't lean back as far, okay? Let's sit up. What we wanna feel here is the tummy. Let's go again. Tummy's activated, one. Keep it activated, two. Don't lift the chest forward, four. Last one, five. And we sit up. Good, anyone wanna make it harder? I know there's a couple of you out there. Let's go again, one. Remember, you do not have to lift your feet off the floor. Five, and sit up. Let's go again, tuck and lean. Activate those tummy muscles. And one, and two, and three, and four, and five. Good, all of us sitting up, let go of the hands, tuck and roll all the way down onto the floor. Arms nice and long down by your side. Back to Mike's camera. Okay, so if you need a little bit of support for your back and hips here, this is where we're going to tuck that mat up underneath the bottom. Remember, I've said it before, this roll here, the bottom one, that's the one that should be sitting underneath your tailbone. Okay, your tailbone is not up here. Okay, if you actually take the time, you can feel there's that big solid um, bone. And then after that is your tailbone. I want you to get it right to the bottom of the tailbone so you can feel your lower back pushing into the floor. All right, one leg at a time up to tabletop, belly button sinking down. Take your hands and rest them on your knees. Relax your shoulders. Opposite arm and leg are going to extend out nice and slowly and then come back in. Then the other side. And in. Deep breath out. And in. And again, so just keep alternating sides. Nice, long, deep breath out as you extend so that you make sure you activate properly. Again, the back should not be hurting at all when you do this. You should be able to feel the tummy muscles working and you should be able to feel your legs working. But I really want you to get those tummies working harder than the legs, okay? So we're going nice and slowly. For those that want to, you can bring that chin into the chest and look towards your legs as you do the movement. If this is gonna hurt your neck or shoulders, you just leave that head on the floor. The lower you extend that leg out, the harder it's going to be. So you might find that the muscles are starting to tire now and you need to take your leg a little bit higher to keep going. Make sure that chin's pulling right into your chest. You really wanna lengthen the back of the neck so we're not looking up towards the ceiling. We're looking at our legs. Let's do one more, should be even. Bring your knees into your chest, lower your head if it was lifted. Good, okay. Let's take our left hand now. Uh, no, yes. <laughs> left hand, I want you to lengthen it above your head. Right hand is gonna support your neck, elbow out to the side, okay? We're gonna go back to tabletop. You're going to bring your right knee in. You're gonna curl up. This left arm is gonna come past your knee like so, okay? And then you're going to extend all the way out. Come in and across and extend out. In and across and extend out. <sighs> Deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth, especially breathing out through the mouth so that you can empty those lungs and completely work those muscles the way they need to be working. Three more. Last one. 
Last one. Good. Bring your knees in if you need to or wait in tabletop. You're going to now support your neck with your left hand and take your right arm above your body. So we bring the left knee in and we cross over and then we lengthen out. And we cross over and we lengthen out. One really important thing to remember is that as we lift our arm, if you, especially if you're really tight in the front of your chest, it's going to want to lift your rib cage away from the floor. So we need to make sure that we are pulling the whole back, the whole back into the floor as we lie back. Two more. Last one. Good. Grab both your knees and draw them in towards your chest. Good. Now, if you do need to give your legs a shake, stretch them out along the floor and shake them out. Because we're going to take our legs now to the ceiling. So one leg at a time up to the ceiling, belly button sinking down. Now, if you've got your mat rolled up underneath your bum, you may want to add your hands as well. Okay, that'll just make it even more supportive because this position is a little harder. Now I'm pushing my heels to the ceiling. You don't have to have completely straight legs, that's okay, but I still want you to try and push your heels into the ceiling. Arms down by your side, belly button sinks into the floor. Take the legs out into a V and then cross one over the other. Then we take them out into a V again and we cross the other way. The cross is in the center. Okay, we're going out and across. I do a deep breath out, but a short, deep breath out, or a quicker one, I should say. It's still deep, but I do it every time I cross my legs. It just helps me keep the motion going. Now you can feel those legs working, yes, and your hips, but if you can't feel your tummy working, you probably find you've got your legs up here. Okay, and there's a lot going on through the front of the legs then. And that's about all. Let's bring the legs together and knees down. Okay, so we're going to move the legs now. You're going to take them out, cross, I've dropped a little lower, out, a little lower again. Out, back up, back to the top. So it's two movements. You've got your top, your center, and the lowest point. You're in charge of how low you go, okay? Feet go up, we're going out, out, and back up, and up, and down, and down, and back up, and up, and down, and down, and back up, and up, and down, and down, and up, and up, wanna curl, curl it up. As long as it's not gonna hurt your neck, you might find you can get those legs a little bit lower now. Up and up and down and down and up and up and down and down. And I'm still pushing those heels away from me to keep my legs as long as possible. Back up, knees in. Good, relax those hips for a moment. Take your feet down, give them a stretch. Shake it out. Good work. Bend the knees up. I'm gonna open up your hips a little bit. So we're just gonna do a couple of bridges. Deep breath out. Open up those hips, squeeze the bum, lift those hips and slowly roll back down. Breathe in. And out, roll it up. Open up those hips. And roll out down. We're going to do that once more. So make sure you're opening those hips as much as you can. And deep breath out. You might not necessarily feel a stretch in the front of the hips, but you will be opening them. Good. Okay. Bring your knees into your chest. Okay. So with this one, okay, we're going to go fast and slow. 
You stop whenever you need to. You do not need to keep going. Remember, the lower your leg extends, the harder you're going to make it. You don't have to go lower than 45 degrees if you don't want, okay? All right, we're going to support the neck, curl up. Now, Julianne, if you want to, you can do your oblique twist, okay, with your arms out to the side. Everyone else, we're doing our bike, all right? So we're going to twist. And then we're going to change. So we'll do it slowly to start. One and two. Pull the belly button down and don't forget to breathe. Now we're going to go faster for ten. One and two and three and four and five, six, seven, eight nine and hold make sure you're pushing that leg away as you do each one okay you don't have to point you can flex okay but you want to be lengthening that leg right out let's go slowly and fast Hold it, legs to tabletop, head to the floor. Join us now, Julianne. Hands down by your side. Squeeze those legs together. If you bring your knees closer to your chest, it's a little bit easier. And we're gonna try and lift the bum. So again, focus on what the tummy's doing. Pull it down. Deep breath out. So if you do have weak lower back muscles and you don't mind this exercise, this is actually a really good one for strengthening the lower back. Because you're also low in strengthening the opposite, which is your lower abs at the same time. For those that wanna go a little harder, you're going to lengthen your legs out when they're above your head this time. Remember, you don't have to. Up, stretch, tabletop tabletop make sure your legs are not swinging away from you one more if you're feeling okay you can just hold it here otherwise you can hug it in the next one to make it harder again, so you go to whatever suits you. Straight legs up and over the head, then push both legs away together, okay? So I would recommend pushing away this way through the heels. Just remember if you go too low, you may feel it in your back. Ready? And we come and out, and out and out out if you're not doing that extra stretch you just get a little bit of a rest a little bit longer rest before your bum lifts again last one Good, and relax. Try not to collapse onto the floor. <sighs> Stretch out your legs gently. Shake them all about. Don't forget while you're loosening up those legs, you might need to loosen up the hips as well. So you can give yourself a little wobble around through the, the pelvis too and loosen everything out. Let's do some more bridges, arms by your side. Three more, nice and slow. Deep breath out as you roll up. Opening those hips and breathe out as we roll down. Because we don't want our butt to think it's getting a free ride here. The butt needs to keep working too. So the butt supports the lower back, the tummy supports the lower back. Why do you have a sore lower back? Is it the tummy or is it the butt? And if someone answered, 
It's because I use my upper back. Well, why do you use your upper back? That's more than three. Let's stop. Why do you use your upper back? Because your lower back's too weak, but so is your butt and so is your tummy. Strengthen down here. You won't use your upper back as much. Simple as that. <laughs> I know it's not simple. All right. We're going to take those legs back up to the ceiling. One leg at a time. Belly button sinking down. Remember, support your hips and your back with your hands or with your mat or both. Okay, we're going out, out and back up. Yeah, like we did before. If you want to curl up, you can. If you don't want to do the traveling, you don't have to. So you can just leave your legs in one at one height if you would rather. Okay, so for two movements, that's going to be one count. One movement, two movements. That's a count of one. One and two. And three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. Good and hug it in. Good job. We're going back to our bike now. <sighs> Support the neck, lengthen the right, twist. Remember you stop and have a rest whenever you need to. Okay, let's go slowly. And <sighs> two, <sighs> five, six, seven, eight, nine, and fast. <sighs> Slow, hips anchored into the floor. And fast. Good, and relax, don't collapse. There's a difference. <laughs> Lower the feet to the floor. Good job. All right. We're going to roll onto our side all the way around. Okay, lengthen out both your legs, make them nice and long. Rest your head down, tuck your bum under and bend your bottom leg. Okay. So we're going to take this top hand and we're going to place our hand by our ear. That elbow is now pointed to the ceiling. We're back between those two panes of glass so we can't rock forward and backward. The knee is pushed forward. The foot is behind you. That's your balance, okay? Make sure the bum's under and that belly button is back. You're going to bring that knee up towards the ceiling, okay? And then you're going to lengthen that leg out and bring your hip back up on top. We did this on all fours just before. Now Tony gets a turn doing it on his side. <laughs> all right, so knee to the ceiling and bring that hip back. That's really important or your back is gonna get sore. Up and lengthen, up and lengthen. Stretch that leg right out. Squeeze the waist then stretch. Squeeze the waist and stretch. Don't forget your hip. Keep your elbow pointed to the ceiling. Last one. And stretch. Good. Bring your arm back down to the floor. Push yourself up onto your elbow. Now, if you're gonna struggle being in this position, Continue to do it lying on the floor as you were just then, okay? But for those that can come up onto your elbow, this shoulder needs to be back. This one's gonna be back as well, but you're gonna make sure that hip doesn't drop with it, okay? Belly button to the spine, hand to the ear. Lift that rib cage and you bring it in and stretch it out. And bring it in and stretch it out. Bring it in and stretch it out, got it? in and stretch it out. Make sure you lift out of that shoulder. So we've got to really keep those back muscles strong in the upper body as well. 
And if you're lying on the floor, it's exactly the same movement you just did. Last one. Good. And take it down. Okay, let's do this on the other side. So a lot of this focus is coming in through that waistline there. How do you go from one camera to this one? <laughs> Look at the color difference. <laughs> anyway. The squeezing in through the waistline is working on these muscles in here. And ladies, you'll be glad to know it also helps to keep your figure, your figure. Bend your bottom leg, knee forward, foot behind you. Lift that rib cage and forget about it. Come all the way down instead. <laughs> we forgot this part. Lying all the way down, head resting on your arm. Bottom leg is bent, hand to the ear. And we keep the upper body still and just bring that leg up and lengthen. Don't forget to bring the hip back over and tuck and lengthen, tuck and lengthen, tuck and lengthen. Good for the hips as well. Whew. Belly button back, five and four. And three, are you still bringing that hip over each time? Two and one. Good, use this hand to push you back up onto your elbow. <laughs> now lift the rib cage, <laughs> bring the hand back, shoulders back, especially this bottom one, okay? And off we go again and bring it in. One, lengthen, two, stretch right out, three, Upper body as well, because that curls in. That needs to lengthen. Bring that hip around. Two more. Last one. Good. And bring it around. Okay, you can roll back onto your back now. Bring those knees back into your chest. Three more bridges, nice and slow. We're doing our bridges to focus on rolling and loosening up the spine, to open up the hips and squeeze that butt, and to make sure we're breathing deeply. So we don't need to make these bridges a hard movement. We don't need to add things onto them to make them harder. We just want to get it for what it's original purpose was. Good, okay. All right. Well, we've got a little bit more time. I've got to remember that. I'm going to go over tonight. So we're going to take those legs back up to tabletop. Remember to roll up your mat and tuck it under your bum if you need to. We're going to keep our upper body on the floor. However, you can curl up if you want to. That's completely up to you, okay? You're gonna stretch that right leg out and remember the lower it goes, the harder it gets on the tummy and your back, okay? And then the other one. Push right out through the heel as you breathe out. And again and in and in and in and in two more one on each side then you can relax if you need to for those that want to make that a little bit harder, we're going to bring the legs together, knees and feet, flex the feet, and we're going to do doubles, okay? But if you find that's too much for your back, you do singles again. So it'll be another 10 singles, if you like, okay? For everyone else, we're doing 10 doubles. Okay, let's go. Deep breath out, push away through the heels, lengthen those legs right out, lengthen them, push them away. 
five more. Make sure your back is not lifting, it's not tightening at all. Feel it in the tummy instead. Last one. Knees all the way in and we should all be even. All right, good job. Let's take those legs back to tabletop. Singles, toe tap. Try to keep your knee at 90 degrees if you can and move from the hip. So the movement actually comes from the hip. Okay, but for those that need to make it a little bit easier, you drop your foot and then it'll tap a little bit closer. It'll make it a little easier on your hips and back. Belly button sinks into the floor. One more each leg. Bring the knees in if you need to. And then we're gonna bring those legs together, okay? So if you want to, again, you can tuck those hands under your bum. Now you've got a couple of options with this one as well if you're gonna do the doubles. You can tap your heels or you can tap your toes. That doesn't really matter, it's up to you, okay? Whatever works best for you, okay? Remember, do singles again if doubles is too much. Let's go. Two more, three more, I mean. Now there's two more. This should be the last one. Good, and knees in. Good job, wow, that's perfect timing. Stretch those legs out, give them a good shake. Now we're gonna start our stretch down here, just to try and loosen up the hips a little bit. So I'm gonna get you to bend your knees, feet flat on the floor. We're gonna take that right foot up to the ceiling. Now, when I say point the toe and flex the foot, uh, flex the foot, yeah. It doesn't have to be about your foot, okay? Work from this joint here, especially if you tend to cramp, which is really, really popular as we get older, okay? Because those tendons and ligaments will shorten. Okay, so if I work, if I keep my foot relaxed, practice it while you're watching TV. Keep your foot relaxed and just tilt at the ankle. Okay, let's take it away, keeping that leg straight down towards the floor, tilt the ankle and pull up fast. Tilt the ankle slowly down, keep the leg straight, push that leg away and tilt the ankle and come up again. And down, two, three, four, pull up, one. And down, two, three, four, and up. Feel that stretch in the back of the leg as you come up. This is the last one, make sure you get it. And up, good, bend your knee, foot to the floor, other leg to the ceiling, tilt at the ankle, keep the legs straight, take it down, slowly, tilt and up, tilt and slowly down, and tilt up, again, down, slowly, drawing the belly button into the floor and tilt and up, keep your hips on the floor, don't lift your bum. And one more, down, two, three, four, tilt up. Bend the knee, foot to the floor. Good job, okay. Now this one I know is not everyone's cup of tea, okay? If it's too much, if you're struggling with it, 
that's okay, just stop, have a rest, shake it out. But we're gonna pop that right foot onto the left knee like so. We're going to push that knee out to the side. So you might even wanna just hold this position if you don't or can't go any further, okay? So we're pushing that knee out, we're opening up the hip. I'm gonna let go of my right knee and I'm gonna hopefully keep it pointed out to the side. The left leg now is gonna come up into tabletop and it doesn't have to come all the way if you can't keep your foot there. But I do want you to try and grab hold of that leg and pull it towards you. So that might involve curling up to grab it, that's okay. Right now you should be feeling a stretch through the hip and leg on the right hand side. And slowly lower that leg down, don't go fast. Put your right foot on the floor, pop your left foot onto your right knee, push the knee out so that we're opening up that hip there. You might even feel a bit of a stretch come through into that groin area. Just be really gentle, you don't wanna to go too hard and especially hard and fast. Okay, let's leave that knee pointed out to the side because now we're gonna grab the right leg in tabletop and pull it towards you. And the stretch is in the left hip now. So you can feel it down the back of the leg, you can feel it through the hip, the butt even, you might even be able to feel it into your lower back, especially if it's tight on that side. Good, slowly release. Okay, let's bring those knees into the chest. We're gonna roll up and we're gonna balance. So use your tummy muscles, let's go. Balance, shoulders down, take a deep breath in. Breathe out, relax them again. Release your grip a little. Relax those shoulders, breathe in and out, arms out to the side. You're balanced, you're using your tummy. If your back is sore, feet to the floor. Good, and lower down. Okay, let's stretch those legs out in front of us. Sit up as tall as you can. Use your tummy muscles to support your back. Push forward, drop your head, drop your arms. Make a weight by just relaxing the upper body. Deep breath in through the nose, out through the mouth. Chin is right on the chest. So this is also not only stretching right up the back of the legs, but in through those hips again, through into your spine, all the way up your spine, right into the neck area, shoulders. Good, let's sit up nice and tall. Take that right leg now across the body, pull it back as far as you can, hug it in, sit up tall again and turn to the right. Keep lifting. And slowly back around, change sides. Sit up tall and turn. Deep breath still. Relaxing and lengthening those muscles. And slowly release. Good work, all right, shake it out. We're gonna come up onto our knees. So Tony, you can stand. You're gonna take the right foot forward. Square yourself up with the floor. Walk your foot forward until your ankle is under your knee. Use a wall, a chair or a table if you have to, to balance, that's okay. All right, and then pelvic tilt and hold. Okay, holding that there, you can feel the front of the leg stretching and again, that hip opening. Again, you probably feel more of it in the leg than you would in the hip, but it's all gonna depend on where those little tight spots are. Good, you should still be able to feel it. Okay, now release and change sides. Make sure you walk that foot forward until the ankle is under the knee. And pelvic tilt, hold it. Hold that stretch. Did you notice one side of your body feeling um, tighter than the other? You might not, but a lot of people do.
good and release okay we're going to come into our crouch position now we're going to be down as low as we can go pop that chin down to your chest then push your bum up to the ceiling so you're now hanging upside down relax your arms and your neck as you roll up I want you to keep those arms just hanging slowly roll up until you're standing nice and tall Ooh, look at the hair deep breath in arms come up make a pistol grip as you breathe out and relax your shoulders so make sure those elbows are bent all right breathe in and as you breathe out we're going to lift out of the hips and tilt back don't push the hips forward you're just tilting backwards as far as you can so depending on your balance and your comfort and how strong your back and tummy is may depend on how far you go Go back up to the top, shoulders still down, over to the side now so that we can stretch through the side of the body and over to the other side. Good, and back to the top. Let's lift up and tilt back once more. And back to the top, shoulders down, bring the arms forward and open, squeeze back and release. Open squeeze back and release once more good and arms down chin to the chest relax your neck chin to the ceiling and forward look to the right and the left and forward drop the ear down over to the other side and up deep breath in and out breathe in shoulders up and breathe out breathe in gently take your elbows back and release remember keep this gentle in and out and in and out and in and out good all right well done everyone good work all right any questions about anything please come and chat to me now before you run off for your dinner or to relax or your beer or whatever <laughs> have a good night guys have a good night everyone i'll speak to you all very soon take care